Yo, welcome back. This is part three of our summer house garden rebuild. Stay tuned and watch us go create a load of mess. So as you can see, it's a bit of a mess right now. So what I've had to do is, um, lately I've been doing loads of work on the trailer, but I haven't been able to work on it for a few months. So what I had to do is I had to get like the decking done and everything. So I had a nice flat area to work off of and it helped so much and made me get a lot more work done in the trailer a lot quicker in a short period of time. So I didn't do enough for two months. So the last two weeks I've managed to get loads done. This is just having this flat area has been helpful. But in the meantime, the summer house has been used as a bit of a storage thing. But Joel, Sarah's oldest boy, she he's going to be coming back from work in uh, a week. And he wants to be staying in here. So luckily I work at Mitchell, Re Mitchell Reclaim. And being a reclaim guy, we get a lot of reclaim stuff. So we've got a ton of sheets here. I think we've got about 20 sheets altogether of uh, inch thick insulation. And luckily, the stud working there is three by two. And I've measured the thickness of three layers of that and the thickness of that, and I can get three layers in the walls. So, today I'm going to be trying to fit that in there. Once that's all done, tomorrow after work, I'm going to find some uh, pl uh, plasterboard and we're going to get that in fitted and try try get somewhere with this. So, stay tuned and we'll see what we get done. Let's get it. Yeah, I've got the first already in the corner. Now you can see I'm about to put the second bit of the fire in. Obviously, the pack pack's ready to be done. It's on the fit, it's quite snug, I'm quite happy. Yeah, doing the job alright. Let's get another one in there. Right, so, got these two bits here. Let's try and get these in. The only thing I really hate about polystyrene is it creates so much bloody mess. And I'll put it in the other way. So there's our first wall, all insulated. Actually, not bad of a job to be fair. Yes, the edges look a bit rough, but once the plus wall and everything's on and on the roof and that, it's gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna do this wall and this wall. So yeah. So there you go. Obviously I had to move a few things about, but that's that whole wall done as you've seen. That's the back wall now done. And there, and this bit, I've literally just shoved some random little off-cut bits in there. I'm gonna just put a few more in there just to fill it in. But that's all them in. I'm probably now gonna go up to Wix maybe and go buy some plasterboard. I wanna get all the walls plasterboarded in first, and then I'll figure out the roof later on. So let's go to Wix. Got the plasterboard, 12 and a half mil tapered edge. Let's get this board. Get home, get it cut and fit. So we're now home. Got the plasterboard on the saw horses. It's actually got a bit of uh, ploy underneath as like a temporary workbench, if you like. But I've uh, worked out, measured out the height inside for this first one, this end. Uh, obviously, it's got a cut at angle to the roof. So I'm now going to get this in, get this on here, use that as my straight edge, run a knife down there, and get this cut get this fit and also I think Amazon's just arrived Molly was saying so I should have a new tripod thank god so woo woo come then Molly get out for me <laughs> All right, oh. what the f why is it so big <laughs> my days all that for that well um you know at least to help with the environment and not wasting packaging eh Fucking hell. Here's a new tripod. To be fair, for 15, 20 quid or whatever it was, 
It's actually really nice. Hook on at handle compared to this thing I had before. It's a lot, lot nicer. So that's the first one cut, uh, which I know there's, I've got. To, I know I have to lift this a little bit, so we're all good. And that fits on there nice. With the roof, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna end up at the batten or the length of something too, too. I don't know. Get something from work tomorrow. I'm gonna run it down in a bit here. So when I put the plaster board on the roof, I can screw into that. I'm not sure how we're gonna be doing the lighting in the roof yet. If we're gonna do spot lamps or like a halo light around the edge. Dunno. Board is in on the main walls. Now you might think there's a bit of a gap there, but I kind of expected there to be one, and this one is here for a reason. That's uh, because I'm gonna be putting some wiring and that in there, and then that will be getting covered up. So although there's a gap, that was part of the plan, I did allow an inch. Um, but yeah, that's all done. Obviously, this bit I've got extra bits of plasterboard for, and this bit I'm gonna fill in, but I'm gonna make sure make sure I've got all this door completely in line first because you can see at the top. Is a bit of a gap, so yeah. So I didn't realize I've got white with flipping nose, look. But I'm now gonna clear up this stuff on the floor, which is polystyrene and some dust and stuff, obviously, from working. And then I'm gonna get some the underlay boards, which are there, get them put in, and then start getting the flooring in. Progression, progression. There you go. There's all the flooring done. Now, obviously, you could always do your joints and stagger your joints a lot more, but for what this is going to be used for, we're actually happy with how it is. Um, most people would like the joints here, you'd stagger them all different places all along. We just use the off cut from that end to start the next row, which is kind of what you do anyway. Um, but it looks lovely. So, what we're going to be doing now is obviously I'm going to be getting some of the filler and joint and tape and stuff and I'll get all this done, all the corners done um, and skirtings and stuff fitted which I'll be getting from work too. We've also got a gap, it's been up here the whole time over the door so I'm going to get that measured tonight too and hopefully get that cut at work tomorrow or this week. Um, I'm going to call it a wrap on this video though. So this is just a plasterboard insulation and flooring done which is more than I expected to get done today. It's literally been one day. So it's a pretty productive day for a bank holiday. All I'm gonna say is go create some madness in life. Give us a like, share and a subscribe and don't forget to comment. We'll see you in the next one.